falcons are a lot harder to use than the other things I think. Mm. Max. Yeah. Hey, this is Matthias. So a lot of people have asked me to uh, cover the Falcons of the NC Max. So this is uh, one of the first times that I'm trying them out. Um, and I have to say that um, initially I'm not performing as well with these ones as I have done with uh, the anti-vehicle weapons, the first generation anti-vehicle weapons of the other two Maxes. Now any video where I compare the different uh, weapons of different empires, they have a tendency to be very emotionally loaded, so I'll try to express myself as uh, carefully as I possibly can here. I'll just say this. I would be very surprised if the Falcons was performing nearly as good as the Pounders or even the Comets of the Vanu. Now the big thing about the Falcons is that you have only one shot in each arm. And um, they are of course fantastic every time you hit your target perfectly, but many times that's actually quite hard to do. I want to point out also, of course, that in the beginning here, what I'm talking about is uh, using these weapons against infantry. And uh, in close range situations, I think it goes without saying that the Pounders are the best out of the three. Now the moment you get outside and you start shooting at ranges more than 100 meters and such, that's when the Comets uh, start excelling, but uh, normally these anti-vehicle weapons are not commonly used that much at the, that kind of ranges. Therefore, that doesn't really affect uh, the statistics all that much. Maxes are mostly pulled in uh, tower fights or in biolabs, which I gotta admit, it's a bit surprising to me because um, the anti-vehicle weapons of the Maxes are very good against vehicles. You just don't get uh, that massive amount of kills that you could get uh, if you spam these uh, weapons in choke points in crowded infantry fights, for example. Now, the Falcon does have a bit of drop. And uh, here is uh, probably the best example in the video where you can uh, see how you have to compensate for the bullet drop. And in a situation like this, if you are TR, I wouldn't recommend the pounders at all. If you don't have the fractures, then I'd probably say wait with pulling your max. Or at least to uh, use the bursters, that way you can uh, take care of some of the air. Now I've never used any of the second generation anti-vehicle weapons for NC or Vanu. But for Vanu, I don't see uh, any reason not pulling the uh, comets. For outdoor fights with a variety of ranges and variety of targets, I would say that the comets are the best of the three. Either way, these weapons are well worth the money, since you have one by default, and the other one only costs you 250 certs. Also, you don't need to add any attachments to any of the first generation anti-vehicle weapons. Against enemy maxes, I think the falcons are good, but again, it's the matter of landing your shots. You are highly rewarded if you land uh, the double shots, but uh, since they are not as spammable as the other two, you can be in a lot of trouble if you miss. Also, you can't rely on the splash damage of the Falcon the way you can do with the Pounders and also in some degree with the Thief Comets. Instead, it's almost exclusively the direct hits that count. Now, this, uh, to me, does make them more interesting, more fun to use. At the same time, like I said earlier, I do not perform even nearly as good with these ones as I do with the Pounders. Now, since a lot of people probably react to that, uh, I'm uh, making judgments before I have a lot of experience with these uh, Falcons, let me just answer that real quickly. My opinions about the Pounders and the Comets, I basically decided that within the first 20 kills. I didn't personally feel that I needed more experience for it in order to decide what I thought about it. And after I did get the Arexia medal for the Pounders, I realized that nothing about my opinion had changed. Now this is the same for all the max weapons that I've tried so far. The way maxes are designed, you don't need to be particularly good, nor do you need to have particularly amount of knowledge about the uh, unit in order to do good with them. Now, if I do change my mind about any of the max weapons that I have uh, talked about in the past and also in this video, then I will of course correct my mistake and I will uh, clearly try to define why I changed my mind. But uh, I'll be honest, TR and Vanu, I know you might not like to hear this, but... Uh, I perform worse with the Falcon than with the other two, and I'm pretty sure most other players would do that as well. Oh. oh. Yeah. Fucking shotguns. I think it's harder to use the Falcons than the... Founders, to be honest. 
<laughs> Way more. <laughs> yeah, 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 it is. Falcons oh, fire yeah. uh, something. <laughs> I don't really get accusation from sorry to them, but... Yeah, then. The, uh, the pound is just uh, make sure you hit the ground nearby them. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking wonky here. Yeah. Yeah. So you really need to get the body shots. I think with the comets is fine, though. Yeah. The comets you can do with flash as well, and they hide. The only static with the ray on is fine. Even if you run here, you can, you can run it when it's Aside from the weapon, I'm using the same uh, loadout for my Max as I have with the other two. I'm using Charge, which is fully upgraded, and I have the Flak Armor, which uh, is what I found to be the most useful, especially for the NC. Um, for the other two, for if you're going up against NC, you might actually do better with Kinetic Armor, just because you're gonna most likely go up against Shotgun Maxes. But as NC, as far as I can tell, Flak is the only option. Now what I found uh, kills me the most when I'm in a max, and that goes for all three factions, is uh, light assaults with C4, uh, it's tanks, it's other maxes, and uh, after that also the different rocket launchers of the heavy assault class. <laughs> Yeah, if I towards the side from us, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm not expecting the side so. You really want to go into the DWG Azog? Not really. Yeah. To your right, Matty, to your right. Oh shit, thanks. Yeah, you could leave. <laughs> oh fuck, yeah, I, I forgot to up update my inbox. I didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, I have that problem as well. Yeah. What a new mistake. Oh no! LSD guy ran right in front of me. Second biggest team killers on this level. <laughs> Would be interesting if the devs could release a list of uh, who has the highest percentage of uh, kills, which are team kills. Oh, I don't want to do that. Let's go and see. It's a sell. Yeah, it'll be the NC. Who yeah, well, they have released uh, something that. like they that. Yeah, that they released yeah. it at some time on Hickory. Yeah. Uh, nah. The NC was first. So he was NC second and here last. NC was first, first on every server. I love how we have that we won the most for one team you know, as well. Yeah, know. and by a huge amount as well. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> NC. You know why it's that? It's it's why. Chronic. You don't get any, get any. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Man, all of OCB are running around with a fucking chain gun. <laughs> all you hear is just me run past and then just. <laughs> Fuck's sake. No, I'm not the sights. I like sights, they're completely balanced. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. He's gonna get red by a. He is moving around like a motherfucker. Yeah, he's still too So anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll be able to add a few more uh, Falcon videos in the near future. So uh, thank you all for watching, and bye for now. <laughs> yeah, apparently crashes into the ground a lot. <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> Oh fuck, sorry, sorry. No, Walt is not expecting the way into another dimension. It's, it's, uh, kind of, it's a kind of robot, but... Uh, he does the same thing in uh, Marcy as well. <laughs> in fact, in some ways he's easier to hit in this life. Yeah, thank you. Get above him. That is an amazing farmer over there, right? Element. <laughs>